Oh god, guys, it's gonna ruin all of my fruit trees, it's gonna destroy everything! Hey guys, this is Nathan, and welcome back to Technode Firmacraft. So, I've been doing a lot of work with the bees here. I've been starting to do some crossbreeding, so I've got uh, this wintry queen with the meadows drone, and I've done this in a couple of the hives now. And I'm trying to uh, get our next bees. But a problem that I'm running into is I am running out of power in these machines terribly. And so I've been kind of doing a little bit of research, trying to figure out what is going on. And part of the issue is these low voltage wires. So the low voltage wires lose power very rapidly. So what I want to do is make some transformers and put them at our generators. We are going to step the power up to medium voltage at the transformers and then have medium voltage transmission lines going out to our destinations and then have transformers at the destination to convert it back into low voltage. So to that end, I have been gathering up some resources. I've got some silver processing here so that I can make more electrum, but I have this electrum here and we need to make, first off, some medium voltage wire coil, which is a treated stick with electrum around it. So we're going to make uh, two recipes of that currently. And uh, now we will go ahead and take a look at the next thing, which is the transformer. So for this we need a medium voltage wire connector and a low voltage with the electrum wire coil and some wrought iron. So the wire coil... Uh, the wire coil is some of this wire that I just made around an iron ingot. So we will grab a couple of iron ingots and we will wrap this wire around there. We'll get some electrum wire coils. So now we will need... Uh, I'll just grab a st stack there. Oh, excuse me. And now uh, to make the rest of this we need the medium voltage wire which is wrought iron in uh, hardened clay. So we are going to uh, set our hardened clay around, run some wrought iron down the middle of it. Now we've got eight wire, medium voltage wire connectors. So now we're going to make two of these transformers. So we need the electrum, the medium voltage, the low voltage, and then we're going to wrap wrought iron underneath. So that makes our transformer. So we've got two of those. And so uh, actually we're going to need to make a little bit more of our wire here. So mm, that should be enough. We're still going to need a little bit of electrum here in a little bit. So the first thing we're going to do is come up here to the top of our wind generator and we're going to add our first transformer up here. Actually no, we're going to add our first transformer over at the water turbines because they're producing more power anyway. So we'll hop over here and we are going to go ahead and remove this capacitor and all of the wires associated with it. And we are going to put this transformer right in the middle of these two. So hmm, I don't like the way that looks. Let's go ahead if it's going to face that way. Let's see if that will work. So now we will take our low voltage wire and connect to here. Doesn't like that one. Hmm. So what is going on here? It doesn't like this transformer. Okay. Well, that doesn't work. So let's just go ahead and toss down a thing here. So let's go ahead and grab our book and take a look at what it says here because that should work, I think. Whoops. So in here we should have a uh, current transformer. No, that's the current transformer. Okay, power generation. Doesn't say anything about the medium voltage again. We've got the high voltage. So the 
high voltage, we've got the regular transformer. Okay, so high voltage wires have the highest available transfer rate, which is uh, 32,768 RF a tick. And we'll need special connectors. Note that on high voltage connections, connectors and relays are different blocks. Relays will not be able to in or output to the energy network. Further, furthermore, relays can only be placed on the underside of a block. To transition from high voltage to low voltage or medium voltage connections, you will need high voltage transistor or transformers and keep in mind the lowest tier of wire limits the transfer rate of an entire connection. So, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. So we didn't need the high voltage relay yet because we're not going to high voltage. So this should work. I don't understand what's going on here. So uh, what if we go, you can't attach a medium voltage there, so we go from there hmm. okay there we go I have no idea why that wasn't working just a second ago okay so apparently I can't attach that wire there but I can attach it there so now we've got this transformer with medium voltage coming out of it so I'm just gonna do this just as a test so first off I am going to remove all of this wiring here Nope. Crap. I did not mean to break the machine. Well, let me place this down and just see here. Yep, everything's gone. Well, that's fine. I needed to get it out of the way anyway because it was full of water. So we're just going to remove all of these uh, wire connectors here. And now this is still on the low voltage. But I'm just going to try this with the medium voltage connectors here. So we're going to place medium voltage connectors on our machines and then we're going to uh, hook some medium voltage wire up here and just see. Oh, whoops, I looked at an Enderman. I did not do that on purpose, buddy. So... It looks like we're gaining power. We're losing, well, no, we're gaining power across the board, so that's good. But also, this one has finished. So, let me grab a little bit more of my ore here. Uh, yeah, we'll take a stack of copper. So, this could not keep up before, so we'll just see here. We are still gaining power even though all three machines are running. So that's pretty good. So, yep. Yeah, that one's losing power. But yeah, so I'm going to get a little bit of my power network cleaned up. Uh, see if I can get this figured out. I'm also going to make, real quick, as long as I am thinking about it, a medium voltage capacitor. So this takes a block of redstone, two wrought iron double sheets, and a steel sheet, as well as a lead and some electrum. So we'll grab a lead, I've still got some electrum, and we are going to need nine redstone. Really got to find some more redstone, because we are using it fairly rapidly. So we've got a redstone, two treated wood planks, our wrought iron double sheets, our steel sheet, um, let's see here, the lead, and then two pieces of electrum, and there we go, medium voltage capacitor. So I am going to go ahead and set this right here and just see, we should be able to start getting some power stored up in this thing. So if we go with a medium voltage wire here, that one is input. So yeah, we're getting some power here. Actually here, I'm gonna go ahead and See, can I, nope, I can't connect back to the transformer. So that kind of stinks. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna break this one. And uh, I'm gonna link from there back to the transformer. I'm hitting my head on those. So now we should see how fast we're, this is how fast we're generating power. 
So actually we're generating power fairly quickly. So now we'll put a uh, whatever uh, connector right there. We'll connect those up. We need our hammer. Or do I have it? I have it. Okay. So we will need to change the face of this to where we are outputting right there. Then we need our wire connector and some wire. And okay, so yeah, we are using power very rapidly. So, yep, I'm gonna get a little of this figured out, try to get uh, all of the wires kind of run together, get a decent power network, and I'll be back. This is an actual tornado, guys. It's picking stuff up. Oh shit, it's coming at us. Oh no, I see leaf blocks flying up in the air. Oh no, 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 stay away from my base. No. Oh God, guys, it's gonna ruin all of my fruit trees. It's gonna destroy everything. Run! Get inside! Please tell me it's not gonna kill my pigs! Ah, uh, I don't know what to do, guys. Oh god, there's a tornado going right through the middle of my base. No. No. Well, strangely enough, leaving the game and coming back in reset the weather. Hmm, what am I picking up? Sticks? So it looks like it got about to here. It didn't do any damage to my fruit trees, thankfully, but there's no leaves left on any of these trees. <laughs> there's leaf blocks laying on the ground randomly now. Sticks all over the place. Oh wow. That was sheer pan panic mode there, guys. So... Oh god. Weather. Actual weather. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, well, I'm going to get back to what I was doing with the power. So, this seems to be working a lot better. I've changed most all of my wires and connections to medium voltage, and I removed the transformer between the power, the water wheel power generators. I don't think that that's even needed there. So, we're actually losing power right now because I just hooked up the electrolytic separator, but, uh, you know, prior to that, we were actually gaining power with these machines running over here. Now, I did keep the transformer over here so that I could step down the power here and put it into these low voltage capacitors. Now, you can see they are completely full. I've got these stacked. I had to dig underneath and hit the bottom of this top one to set it to output. So it comes into the top one, outputs into the bottom. And then on the other side, I have it outputting from the side and then going into my three forestry machines here. So because of this power surplus at the moment, I have been getting tons of honey processed. I've been uh, running the centrifuge pretty heavily. And also this is what I was trying to get here, but it doesn't seem to be working too good. So I'm trying to get common bees here, but uh, yeah, it may take me a little bit to get them. So there should be another one here that I had common bees in as well. I think it's this one. But, oh, nope, this one. So we've got a common princess here. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. This Meadows drone is not going to stack with the others. So, yeah, it's kind of one of those things that, well, here, we need a frame in here. I didn't, I wasn't checking frames. But, uh... 
Yeah, as you start breeding bees, you start ending up with a big mess in the storage. So basically what I'll probably be doing is throwing a lot of the hybrid bees away because we do get tons and tons of uh, drones. But so now I've got a whole bunch of combs. I can throw these in here and it processes really fast. We don't lose power on the machine. You know, we can uh, put stuff into the carpenter here. We can put stuff into the squeezer. We've got power reserves here and then the uh, power network is able to keep these capacitors charged. So the next thing that I want to do is we want to make a beelizer so that we can look at the stats on our bees. So for this we need two buckets of water in the carpenter, we need a diamond, two pieces of redstone, some glass panes, and four tin ingots. So that shouldn't take me too much to gather up and I'm actually going to drop off all of my power stuff here because I don't need it anymore. And unfortunately my inventory is full, or uh, this chest is full. Well, anyway, so we need uh, four pieces of tin. Then we need a couple of glass panes, which I've got over here. No. Now this is something, these white decorative lamps, all the glowstone that I found at the end of the last episode, I started to make some glowstone blocks out of it, but I've still got 20 stacks left. But uh, if you put a glowstone block, and actually we can look at the recipe here, glowstone block with some bone meal and some glass, we get these white decorative lamps. And these things are really bright, and so they put out a huge amount of light, we don't have to worry about things. And uh, so I removed a couple of the jack-o'-lanterns and put these in their place. So we needed glass panes, and I could have sworn that I made some. Yeah, there they are. Okay, so we need two glass panes. Then we need uh, two pieces of redstone. So we'll grab those. And then our diamonds are down inside the cellar. So I'll go grab those. And so we just need a regular diamond. So, yep, we've got a few of those, but uh, we can't use too many of them. So now I'm going to set these into the carpenter. So the diamond, redstone, tin, and glass panes. Now we need water, so we will grab our bucket. And there's one, and oh, ended up on the wrong side. There's two, so now if we look at the machine, Beelizer. So we are making our Beelizer. Now thankfully, with all of the additional power that we have over here now, we are able to craft this without any delays. So once we get this Beelizer, we are going to need some honey drops to put in it. So we do have some here. And uh, I probably, sh well, I've got some more there. I probably should take this beeswax and just make some more capsules out of it. We don't need the wax casts, which is the only other thing that I can think of that uses the wax. So um, there we go, beelizer. That's great. So we'll clear out our recipe here. And we're going to drop these additional capsules in here. And now we can take our Beelizer and we will drop our honey drops in here. And for every time that we scan a bee, we will use one drop of honey. So if we take this bee and put it in here, we see that this is a common bee. It is a purebred common drone. So that's good. We want to keep this one around. It's active traits. Short, shorter lifespan, slower production, which kind of stinks. Slowest pollination. It has flowers, two offspring. Uh, average territory. I don't ever remember seeing a territory before. And then effect none. So we can check additional stats here. We see it's not nocturnal. It's only diurnal, which means it'll only work during the day. Uh, it is not a tolerant flyer, which means it will not work in the rain, and it's not a cave dweller, which means it has to have direct access to the sunlight. 
Uh, possible uh, production is a honeycomb. Uh, possible mutations, we haven't found any yet, and then it's classification, which is kind of irrelevant. But now we can hold this, hold shift to see the stats on this guy. So this one here was the other one that, uh, this was a common queen last time around. So we want to look here, so the inactive trait is common. So if we breed this one with our purebred common drone, we should end up with a common pretty easily. So we'll just have to, whoop, I guess the bee stays in there. So we're just going to have to see what we get from this queen when she uh, oh, uh, reproduces again. And we'll go ahead and check this drone as well. So this is another purebred common with slightly different stats. So this one will not stack either, but we know that we've got two purebred common drones here. So that's great. That's what this thing is for. So i uh, going to sleep the night away so that we can uh, get our bees back to work. And uh, yep, I have been sleeping pretty much any chance that I get to try to get through the winter faster. So. Uh, I'm very glad that we have this sleeping bag. It has really come in handy. But so, uh, suppose I'm gonna let these bees run for a little bit longer. Um, and if we look here now, we can uh, take a look at the recipe to get a common. It's pretty much any of our hive bees that we pick up in the world, two different types put together. So there's quite a few combinations there. Now if we look at the uses for this bee, we can combine the common bee with a hive bee to get a cultivated bee. So that's going to be our next step once we get our purebred common. Basically we will continue to breed these bees until the drones start stacking. So this is going to take a little while and uh, once I get some stacking drones I will come back. So I've been doing quite a bit of breeding here and I have a couple of hives producing drones that stack in the common drones. And actually this one here is uh, ready to go right now. That was kind of a weird graphical glitch. But so the, all of those drones stack together. They all have exactly the same traits and both of these uh, common queens have the exact same traits. So I crossed that with one of my meadows and got a cultivated queen. And now if we look at the stats on this one, we have a purebred cultivated queen here, and uh, the production on this one is fast. So I am really liking that. Now I crossed it with one with the shortest lifespan, and that will help with uh, breeding. It will make it to where the generations of bees don't last as long. But uh, yeah, I'm working on getting that at the moment. I've also, uh, whoops, I guess I have to pull the bee out of the bealizer. But also I've been working on increasing the size of my uh, industrial hemp farm up here so that I can get more seed for more seed oil. So this thing is getting pretty big. You, know, you can see I've expanded it out over there and I've expanded it out over here. Now, uh, once we get out of winter and the fruit trees start growing again, as I get saplings from them, I am going to cut them down and go and replant them elsewhere because this entire area I want to level down to the same level as the water. So that's going to be quite a bit of work to get that leveled down. And uh, yeah, we need to get that taken care of. I guess I'll put that over here. So, uh, yep, I just am going to keep on breeding bees, and uh, of course, oops, I don't want to pick that one up. That is a rejected drone there. And of course, my ultimate goal is to get to the industrious and uh, royal, or majestic, royal or majestic, I can't remember. But if we look up industrious, whoops and I don't know how to spell, industrious ah. and 
Um, for some reason, I don't think that it's royal. No. So, uh, well, here, we'll take a look at the Industrious first. So the Industrious Queen uh, comes from an unwary and a diligent bee. The diligent comes from a common and a cultivated. So this is where I am trying to get right now is the diligent. And if we look at the... Uh, whatever... Uh, now let's look at this again. Can't remember which one I'm looking for. The unwary is a diligent plus a cultivated. So we've got a little bit of breeding to do. And of course, once we get a bee that we like, we have to then pure breed them so that we can start getting uh, additional drones. Now you'll notice these guys are ignoble stock. All of these are. Now uh, a nice thing, Normally with ignoble stock, after a while they will die off. Now the nice thing in this mod pack, when the uh, queen dies off and does not produce a princess, we actually get two princesses identical to the original queen. So, uh, you know, usually we would want to use this pristine stock for our breeding, but because of the way that the ignoble stock works here, it's actually better because this hive here, this queen came from this one dying off. So that really helps things out. Now I've also been working over here at getting an additional set of the common bees going. So I just want to see here, nope, that one's not going to stack. So actually I need to check my stats here. So. Yeah, that one's no good. So we're going to uh, go ahead and put this back in here with the, the good drone. And we're going to just try to get additional uh, drone production now for our common drones. But anyway, uh, I've got a lot of breeding to do. And I've got to keep working with these machines. Now our power production has been keeping up just fine since we've updated our wires, so that's good. And uh, I've been doing a little bit of ore processing and tree harvesting in the meantime as well. So I've gotten quite a bit done. And uh, I'm going to say thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to give a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye!